Uh, to fill my opening title sequence, uh, I used a Canon 750D, which I'm using now. Uh, I also used a Rode mic, uh, which I'm also using now, and uh, just a standard tripod. Since I got more HD shots, it made the opening sequence look a lot more professional. Um, this means it will appeal more to the audience, um, because it will look like a professional film. Since I used the Rode mic, it just meant that the audio for the newscast sounded a lot better. Since I used a tripod, it's meant my shots weren't shaky, so it just made it look a lot better. Since my shots weren't shaky, it also made it a lot easier for me to edit, because I had all the clips I wanted without needing to film them again. Since I used the tripod, it made it a lot easier for me to edit my special effects, as to do the effects I needed multiple layers of the same shot, so the camera couldn't move during those shots to make the edit look good. So. To actually edit my video, I used the MacBook Air. Um, it was good, but uh, the only problem was that it's quite an old laptop. It's from early 2015, so it struggled with some of the harder edits. Um, and it made some of the video very laggy and jumpy when it came to editing, which made shots harder to edit, and that was just because my laptop was quite old. My laptop would also crash often, as it couldn't handle the editing program, so there were times where I lost quite a lot of progress and had to re-edit it. For lighting, I choose natural lighting. I did this for two reasons. Uh, the first one is that I felt like natural lighting made uh, more of the effects just more realistic as there wasn't a big softbox light there. Um, for software, I used Premiere Pro. Uh, this allowed me to do the special effects. I have never used Premiere Pro before, so it was uh, quite a challenge for me. I quickly learned how to use it just through YouTube videos. Um, I mostly just learnt the basics, which was just the cutting and the transitions and putting filters over clips, changing the volume and things like that. But the main reason I got Premiere Pro was because I wanted to do special effects, because I really wanted to do a superhero opening title sequence. Um, it took me a little while like, to actually learn how to use the effects, but after practicing them a lot of times, mostly just because my laptop kept crashing, it meant that I didn't have to watch the videos anymore as I knew fully what I was doing and I knew how to edit the whole clip by myself because I just understood the program a lot more.